Hello, beautiful people. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Oluchi Iman. On this channel, I talk about cake business. I share tips and strategies on how to grow your cake business from zero to 100. Now, these are practical tips that I've practiced over the years for close to 11 years of being in the baking industry. And I can guarantee you that they are sure to help your cake business grow. I'm an international award-winning cake artist that is based in Manchester, United Kingdom. And you are welcome just in case you're stopping by my channel for the first time. I'm delighted to have you here hi please become a part of the family become a member of the family would love to have you here and this is a beautiful growing community and if you've always been here thank you so much for watching my videos thank you for your support i am so grateful in today's video i'm going to be teaching you the theoretical aspect of getting bright colors for your cake if you're like me you know that i love bright colors for my cakes i work with strong bold colors and I also love playing around with colors. I love combining, mixing, and matching. And this is just what I'll be sharing with you today. So if this is something you're interested in, you're looking for ways to make your cakes bright, colorful, nice, then this video is for you. Please grab something to eat, make yourself comfortable, grab something to drink, and I'll be right back. You're welcome back. Now, the first thing I'm gonna be sharing to get some bright colored cakes, the first tip, is to get quality food color yes i know that sometimes you say oh i've tried this brand and it's not working for me i use a lot of it i put a lot into my buttercream i use a lot into and this problem this challenge is majorly with buttercream i think <laughs> so and even with fondant and smbc as well okay so you have you know try different brands it's not working Please, there are some fantastic brands in the market that have been tested, that are tried, tested, trusted over the years, and that you can fall back on always. One of these is wilting. I think I started with wilting colors. Yes, back home when I started my baking business in Nigeria, I started with wilting colors because that's what we had back then. It was popularly known, popularly used, and you know, everybody would just go get wilting colors and it would serve you. Okay, so know what you're looking for and go for a good brand. Another brand I know is Sugarfly. So they have a fantastic range of colors that you don't need to add too much and it will come out looking bright. You would get the shade that you want. Okay, so this is just, this is just like, these are just two out of the many amazing quality brands that we have in the market today you will need to go out do your research please it's not a sponsored video i'm just sharing from personal experience i'm sharing my thoughts and i would not be able to list all of them but just to put it out there it is not a sponsored video and i'm just sharing with you what has worked for me over the years so i've used wilton i've used sugar flare if you're from where i if you're also from nigeria another brand that i've used that worked well for me is akabado as well I've used Akabado for a very long time and that's what I was using. I even brought some of them here. But right now I'm trying to try, I'm trying to explore with new brands, quality brands of colors as well. So please, the first thing is to get a quality brand. With a quality brand, you don't even need to put too much before you get a bright colored looking cake. The second tip to getting bright colored cakes is to let your buttercream or your first thing sit for a while okay so when you've added your buttercream even for your fondant it works both for fondant it works both for fondant and for buttercream so i think it's oxidization that's the process that takes place yes it's called oxidization oxidation oxidization <laughs> so i think whichever is oxidization so i believe so if it's not i'll put the correct term on the screen please so you make your buttercream and allow it sit for like 24 hours if you know you're going to be using it the following day something like a red purple royal blue black allow it to sit i have a video on how to get back buttercream that i've made when i was back when i made when i was back home and when i still had the luxury of time resources like i was baking and i could make this videos and then use them you know but right now if i have to make this kind of videos my resources will just go to waste because i'm not going to use them in the end okay so please bear with me and just listen and you understand so if you have to make colors that are deep like this please make them right mix your buttercream and then just give it time to sit if you have to decorate like tomorrow you do the buttercream today tint it today and let it sit till tomorrow when you come tomorrow all you just need to do is the beat and you know whip it up again and then it comes back it springs back it comes alive 
and then you can go ahead to cover your cake you would observe that the color would get deeper so allow it sit do not use immediately add your color and then you know before you go ahead to use it one thing most people do to save themselves um themselves of using too much to save their resources is to use start off with a base it's to start off with the base so if they want to make red they start off with a pink base and then they go ahead to add red to it that way you get your red faster and then you're not using too much of your food color okay so when you do that then you allow it to sit and give it some hours come back to it before you use it so that's the second thing you want to do allow it to sit so that your colors will get deeper your colors will get brighter and then you can use them for your cake now the third point is this blooming it's popularly known as blooming but it's the method of putting that batch of buttercream that you're going to use into the microwave like popping it into the microwave for like 10 20 15 seconds for like 10 15 20 seconds just a little bit don't go more than 30 seconds please okay um just keep doing it um in bursts in just a little seconds try it for like five seconds see what it will give you try it for like 10 seconds see what it will give you but do not overdo it please if not you're going to end up with water <laughs> you're going to end up with a watery batch of frosting and you do not like like liquidy okay so if you do this of course when you put it in the microwave and it comes in contact with heat fat heat it's going to like it become runny the consistency will become runny please do not be afraid what you want to do is to pop it into the fridge and then give it some time to sit and to solidify and then whip it up again okay so that's the process for blooming if you do this if you're looking for a deep or a bright color if you try it you're going to see what i'm saying the color is going to be deeper i've seen it in videos i've seen it live in person yes i've seen it live in person and it is called blooming so if you want a deeper color go ahead mix your buttercream but please note that this requires some level of Heal. please do not try it if you know that you do not understand really understand how it works or I'd rather i would advise that you try with a small batch yeah try with a small batch of buttercream and see how it works if you watch videos like this or you watch practical videos online and you want to try it, please don't try it when you're working with a client's cake and don't try it when you're making a big batch of buttercream or a big batch of smbc or a big batch of whipped cream whatever it is you're using it for Please try with a small batch. See how it works. Try this process. See how it works and then how to get the results. Okay. So it needs a bit of skill. It needs a, level, a good level of skill. Let me not say a bit of. It needs a good level of skill for you to be able to handle that and to manage it. Because like I said, once it comes to contact with heat, it becomes liquidy. It becomes watery. It becomes runny. And you need to put, put it back in the fridge for it to solidify a bit for like maybe an hour, an hour, 30 minutes or less. Bring it out. Whip it up again gently and then go ahead with it now if you want to try this for amvc do not put the entire batch i know some people go ahead to put the entire batch into the fridge but if you want to try for amvc just make a small batch okay try with a small batch and then add it to the main batch of buttercream that you have and then whip it all together before you cover your cake so that is what i would advise when it comes to blooming i hope this is clear if you have any questions please drop them in the comments and if you're looking for a nice buttercream recipe i have done one before i have a video on the buttercream recipe that i use here please find it linked up here and then watch and then learn now the fourth point is this mixing and matching so this is something i love to do back at home so mix and match colors if i start off with the blue and i feel that it's not nice it's not the shade i want i would get another brand of blue or another shade of blue and i would add to it and it will come out looking nice come out looking bright come out looking rich depending on what i want so mix and match colors learn to mix and match colors you can try different brands if you're not achieving what you want with brand a you can add brand b to it match them do a small mix please don't add to your entire batch okay try try a small mix and see what works if you're going to get it deeper if you're looking for deeper colors i would advise you do this mix and match start off with maybe sky blue and then add royal blue just try different brands of colors and see what works for you now the fifth tip i'm going to be sharing is this powdered colors using powdered colors the result with powdered colors is the bomb i don't know if they sell hair i've not really seen i have not searched 
but I've commonly seen, you know, gel color and paste colors, all of the other types, but I'm not seeing powdered color here, but I know that back at home, we used to have powdered colors that you can use for your buttercream. Sometimes you just add it directly, but the downside of this is that it will give your buttercream some dark spots to give them, for the dark colors like red, it will give you some black spots. For yellow, you'll be seeing orange and you'll be seeing some spots and dots in your buttercream. So what you need to do to avoid this is to mix with a little bit of water, just a very little bit of water to dilute it before adding it to your buttercream or whatever first thing you're using. I know of it with, I know of using this with buttercream because I've had um, powdered colors as well. And another thing I would say, alternatively, you can mix it with a little batch of buttercream. Make sure that you mix it very well and then add it to your batch of buttercream. But I find that using water to dilute it before adding it to your main batch of buttercream works better and is more effective. So powdered colors are the bomb. If you can lay your hands on it, please grab it. It will give you bright colors for your cake. The yellow can be so amazing. I think I have a sample and I will show you what powdered color looks like in a jiffy. Yes, yeah, so I'm back and I have a sample here. So this is what your powdered color looks like. I don't know if you can see that, but this is it. So it's just like a little bit of, it's just powdered basically. So it's powdered and it's powdered from, you can see it right here. So that's what it looks like. If you add it directly to your buttercream, it is going to be amazing. Now I have a little bit of buttercream. I think I would just do a sample clip and then insert it right here so that you can see what I'm talking about when it comes to this point. So what I would say is this, add a little bit of water. That is more effective and that is safer for me. You'll get a better result with that. And then the final point is this, to paint. Okay, it's just a tip, it's just a bonus tip, but I would say that if you want to get a brighter color fast, or if you want to get your colors looking deep or looking bright fast, I know I've said that before, please, you want to consider painting. So you mix your color with a little bit of edible spirit, um, your spirit, or I forgot what they call it here in the UK. There's a brand they, they use for that in the UK. So you use that to paint your cakes already. You would already have a white base. I know that people paint their buttercream cakes as well, but that requires some level of skill. But if you've covered your cakes in fondant, then there's nothing really to worry about. What you just need to do is to mix your color with a bit of, is to mix your color with a bit of edible spirits and then use a good brush to paint your cakes. That's what you want to do to get a bright colored cake as well. And a faster way to get your cakes painted or to get your cakes tinted or to get your cakes colored whatever it is you understand it as so thank you so so much for watching i believe that this has been useful i believe that this video has been of great help to you i'm sorry i cannot afford to do a practical at the moment because of constraints that i have and i hope that you understand i'm repeating this over and over again for those that are coming to my channel for the first time i know there are some videos you requested that you want me to do but if i make those kind of videos my resources would just go to waste they would go to waste because i'm not going to use them at the end of the day okay so i would try as much as possible to grant the request that i can but believe me um for those that i cannot um please bear with me maybe hopefully in the future when things are a little better brighter i would consider making all of those videos for those who are asking for fondant recipes please i have my fondant recipe class available kindly sign up for it you're going to love it the paid class i have a fondant class that is a paid class to show you how to make the fondant as well so please sign up for it i will try my best to grant your request the ones that i can and hopefully we will take it up from there so thank you so much for watching this video if you're yet to like kindly like this video share with those in your kicking community help this video gain some visibility the views are down i know that the algorithm has been acting up you know here and there and things are not like the way they used to be but nevertheless i'm going on so please like this video drop me a kind comment please appreciate me in the comments i like it it encourages me motivates me drop me a kind comment subscribe to my channel if you have questions also drop them in the comments until i see my next video stay happy stay safe and stay blessed